Hi everybody, I'm Jay with Rough Seeds. Um, recent years we're getting more and more of our growers that are doing production under high tunnels, product, protective culture, greenhouse, uh, and sorts. Um, and there's not too many booklets out there or anything like that that uh, helps growers get started under protective culture. Uh, so uh, the past couple of years, myself, along with others at Rough Seeds have been uh, doing some trials under protective culture and to help our growers uh, get started uh, and uh, get on the way uh, in producing different crops like cucumbers, zucchini, uh, peppers, eggplant, and, and others under uh, high tunnels. So uh, I'm just going to go through, this is uh, back at my farm here in Auburn, New York, um, where we're, uh, we've been playing around with the high tunnel for a few years now. It's not to the point where we want it to be, but uh, uh, by next year we'll, we'll have everything uh, a little more sophisticated and uh, in production order. Um, uh, first of all, this will be all high, tens high tension wire going down instead of just string, but this year we were kind of low on funds and uh, wanted to uh, get things going at least, at least so we can get to see how the, the plants are growing and how you're stringing them up and how you're pruning them as well as uh, fertility and figuring out how the fertility to, to get the maximum yields out of it. So uh, I'll start with this plant here. This is a zucchini from Enza called Copana. Um, unlike the, your, your typical field zucchinis, this one you can trellis right up. So it's not your typical bush. It's going to trellis right up. Right now it's about uh, two to three feet tall and it will get up to nine to ten feet tall if pruned and, uh, and when the fertility is right so and you're trellising it correctly so as you can see uh, they just got picked through so there's not a lot, of, a lot of them on there now but you can see right here it's uh, produces quite a bit of zucchini off of those and you can pick this for about um, about three to four months uh, like you do with your cucumbers in a high tunnel so, and it took me a little while how to, how to trellis it because it does have a thick stalk and it does get kind of uh, gnarly in here, but if you kind of spiral around and clip it like that, actually I'll find a little better one here. Here's a nice one right here. And I'm pruning the leaves as we're going up. If you keep about seven to nine of the big leaves, um, they will... Uh, that's enough to support the fruit production on the plant as well as getting enough airflow through there to uh, keep uh, powdery mildew away. As you can see here, I mean, you have to play around with the fertility a little bit on these because you get some aborted uh, fruit on there. And I think I just need to tweak the fertilizer just a little bit with a little less nitrogen, a little more phosphorus, and maybe a little more calcium as well. Um, but uh, with this, this is a new fairly new variety, fairly new uh, practice in the greenhouse where you can actually trellis it up. Uh, they'll get 9 to 10 feet tall and production will go for about 3 to 4 months. Down here we have uh, Oranos pepper. Um, for those of you familiar, Oranos does very well in the field, but we're also doing it in the high tunnels as well. And they're just getting close to picking it here. And it gets that nice orange color. Uh, excellent sweet pepper variety. Um, pushes out nice. We didn't do too much pruning with this one right now. Uh, just like most of you guys, we get caught up with a lot of things in the field. and, and uh, other, you know, Everything's going on at once in July and August, so we get kind of uh, fall behind here. But these should be pruned a little bit more correctly. But it does do very well in the high tunnels. Uh, as well as in the, in the field. Uh, we'll go down here to the bell peppers, which I really want to talk about here is the training of bell peppers. Um, this is Malena. Malena is another variety from Menza. Uh, orange bell pepper, just starting to turn here. We'll be harvesting those here fairly soon. Uh, the thing I want to show you about the bell peppers in the greenhouse, absolutely important to prune these um, when they're when they're younger so here's a perfect example right here you want to pick two liters 
when you're pruning these off. Um, when it gets started, you'll start they'll start branching off into different ways. And uh, what happens is, if I left these the way they were and not pruned them, you'd get big tight cluster in here. You get misformed fruit. Uh, they'd start rotting right off, and uh, just uh, just not enough space for that plant to, uh, to uh, for that fruit production to grow. So we, uh, we it's very important to prune the pepper plants. Pick two liters, do two strings from the top, and when you're stringing them up. You want to kind of spiral around that stalk for a little extra support, and these plants will get uh, quite high as well. Uh, you know, you'll get uh, six to seven feet production off of these, and we pick them for the entire season. But it's really important to prune these when they're young. Uh, it does hurt to, to do it because you see all those flower blossoms on there, but uh, you, it's it's better off in the long run for uh, extended season and uh, nice large fruit as well. Uh, and this one we'll be picking here fairly soon. Uh, this next variety is Sprinter. Uh, another good variety. This one is an early green to red bell, but it's a little later than the uh, Melena because we did plant these later in the season. And uh, but a real nice early green to red bell bell uh, bell pepper. Uh, same thing. We want to pick two liters off this plant and go right down. Next we have the cucumbers. These <clears throat> we've been doing really well here at our farm. This is Alcazar. Um, again, we fell behind a little bit with the pruning, but we've been picking this one for we've been picking off of this these, this plant for about two months. Actually, about two months now we've been picking off of this plant right here, and we'll pick all the way it's July 28th now. We'll be picking this one until. Um, Towards the end of August, off the same plant, and uh, one of our biggest producers. Uh, again, we should be pruning a little bit more than we are, um, but uh, it's got a better, great variety. Uh, it gets a little bushier than we'd like to see, but uh, it's been a really good producer for us. And I'll show you another variety out in the, uh, the other greenhouse. Uh, you can see a little bit more production out of them. This is our second planting of cucumbers in here. Um, down this way we have a, uh, a new variety that we're trying out from Syngenta called uh, Vitaly. The difference between this variety and the Alcazar, it doesn't get as bushy as the Alcazar. So it's kind of following one main leader and uh, really does some really nice fruit production on there. These are getting pretty close to getting picked and uh, just nice, no yellow bellies like you see in the field. Uh, nice, just solid, straight, dark green fruit. Uh, this one looks real promising uh, to add to the catalog for next year. Uh, and I think it's the way to go to, to plant cucumbers. Uh, and like I said, it doesn't get as bushy as the Alcazar does. You can kind of get a little tighter population with them, not as much pruning, a little more airflow uh, for less disease. And you can see a nice, tight cluster. Cubes. But uh, that's that's kind of all I wanted to cover today. That's uh, going under protective culture is a huge learning curve from from the field to under high tunnel greenhouse, um, uh, whatever practice you're doing. But the uh, main things you want to uh, conquer before you start doing the production is first of all is variety selection is number one, is uh, a big one. Uh, pruning and trellising, uh, getting those practices down so they're trellising correctly and you're not having a tight cluster. Uh, and uh, fertility, uh, fertility and watering. Uh, if you do not have a good fertility program, uh, you're going to suffer quite a bit through your first year of growing. So um, that's all I want to cover today and uh, we we'll hope to have some uh, more, more information for you soon. Thanks.